Let's see which ready. Olofuki Ocean Ike, she is in Hamburg in Germany. She is also reacting to table tennis in Nigeria. We missed her. Uh, the competition in Sudan. But let's find out why she didn't take part of the competition. If she's ready, good morning, champion, and welcome to the program. Good morning, Austin. How are you today? Oh, I'm super. Cecilia Omarogbe is here and Tayo Salam. Uh, we've been following the competition in Sudan. We didn't see you there. What happened? As usual, I think we have a problem with fund. You know, I was actually waiting for my association to get back to me on time. But unfortunately, what I heard from them is that Nigeria is not funding us to Sudan. So we have to, again, take out our money from our pocket. So the, the same thing I did last year to Cameroon, and I don't think I can be able to do the same thing again this time. This is 2016. I've not been paid the one that I went for last year, and I don't think it is going to be advisable for me to pay another money to Sudan. So that's why I didn't go, actually. But it is very, very painful. I'm really, really hot concerning this competition. Okay, you know, we actually, all of us were expecting to see you. I remember when we actually spoke with you, you said you really don't know if you're going to be in Sudan, and of course you didn't go. Now, Edda Mofiong, of course, now happens to be the only female that's there. What advice will you give to her? Because the Olympic qualifiers is starting today, and you, of course, you've already made it to Rio. Yeah, as usual, I'm just going to tell her to put in her best, you know. she's gonna. I don't think she's going to have any problem because the Egyptians are not there. I'm not there. They're, they're, the Chinese too are not there, you know. She she should just be focused and um, do more concentration. And I know when she really wants to fight, when she wants something, she's going to get it. And for me, I know for sure that she, she's really going to get it. That is if she actually doesn't play to crowd, because sometimes something can, you know, be eating on her. Themselves. But for sure, she's going to get it. I'm, I'm, I'm not actually worried about it. Okay. Mm. I also, I also um, I mentioned that um, she needs to, to focus a lot. But Funke, uh, when pressure comes into uh, this sort of competition, you're a champion, you've been there, done that. How can she handle it? Pressure? She has been there a very long time too because I know, I, I, I've known her since she was 16 and I know one thing for sure. She knows all the players that are going to be there, you know. She, that is why I think she, she, she removed the money from her pocket. And when Something like that, you know, is going to happen. And no one thing for sure that Maba, because she doesn't joke when it is seriousness, you know, when it is something that I know that is concerning our future. This one is concerning our future. And I know one thing for sure, like I said from the beginning, there's not going to be any problem. I'm not actually worried about that. She just go there, put in her best, you know, not to be worried about anything, you no, know, not to be actually be too anxious about anything. And she's gonna get it. I'm sure about it. I'm not like I said from the beginning, I'm not so worried about her. Yeah. Okay. Don't so worried about her. Okay. Uh, another question I want to ask you is this, you know, you're not going to Sudan, of course, and not being at the uh, the Africa top sustain. How much is it how will it affect your preparations for the Olympic Games? Like now, I won't really lie to you. I'm really, really, I'm down. I'm, I'm, I'm so hot, you know, because this is Olympic year, and I believe all the athletes are supposed to be to be getting ready for the Olympics. Yeah. I, I think I'm not actually supposed to be here. I'm like you can see, I'm at home. I'm supposed to be everywhere playing competition. The Egyptian before they came to Sudan, they went to Singapore. They were training in Singapore. From Singapore, they came to Germany for. For, for, for competition. From Germany, again, they went back to Singapore. From Singapore, they went to Sudan. Okay. You can see the level of the preparation they are doing. But what about Nigeria? I don't even know what is happening right now. Nobody is calling me to tell me, oh, Funke, to be doing this, be doing that. And I don't like it. I live here. I know how things are being done in Germany. You know, so sometimes to come down to Nigeria level for me, it's kind of hard. And most of the time, I have to be very, very careful to talk because when you say something, the next thing Nigeria is going to tell you is that, oh, this girl doesn't have respect. This girl is rude. And I'm so sick and tired of that. It is high time we start doing the, the right thing. The right thing is to be getting your athletes ready for the Olympics, you know. A lot, a, a, apart from table tennis, I think a lot of athletes who don't know the, the next level to go, which is very, very wrong. We have another competition coming up in this ending of this month, which is in Malaysia, World, World Championship, World Team Championship in, in Malaysia. Up to this moment, we don't actually know what is going on. We were not funded to Sudan, you know. The other guys that went there took out their money to go there. It is very, very wrong. Just four people. I know my Niger, I'm from Nigeria, and I know Nigeria is not a poor country. I come from a very, very rich country. So Nigeria cannot tell me that they don't have actually money for, for, for four people, you know. For athletes to go to Sudan, 
You know, and that is very wrong. Are they telling me that they don't care that the other one that are supposed to qualify for the for the Olympics, they don't care about them? Shegun is going for, for the seventh time on Olympics, so he's going to make it terrible. And I believe they should be focusing on, on, on him too, on all of us, you know. I believe sport is not support. Olympic is for the best in the world, you know. It is not everybody that will go to Olympic that is going to win a medal. But for we to go and represent Nigeria, you know, in Olympics, you know, a lot of people, a lot of athletes, their dream is to go for Olympics, you know. But because of one thing or the other, they've not been able to qualify. But the way that we qualify, Nigeria don't be like, they don't really care so much about it. Yeah. And that hurts so much. And I'm just begging. Now the, the next competition is going to be Malaysia. I'm begging. Today is the 16th of January, you know. I've not actually heard anything that, okay, Funke, go get your ticket, go be getting ready. I'm begging the people that are going to give us the phone to please. It is very, very important because if we don't go, automatically we are going down. They've changed everything. Nigeria is going to represent Africa at the World Table Tennis Championship in Malaysia. So please, we need the phone. I need to know what is going on because staying here without knowing what is going on, it hurts. And the same thing is all, all the, all the, all the, the other athletes. Because they are just there. We don't know what is going on. And that's I know, no good. I know. For God, I feel your pain. Yeah. But, but let me make you smile. Come on, champ. You need to smile. <laughs> Aaron Quadri defeated Omar Asad to win. That's right. I know I'll make you smile. What's your take? What do you think about Aaron Quadri? I'm so very, very happy. I've been like jumping every time. I've been writing a lot of things on Facebook. I don't know whatever you have. I'm so very, very proud of you. It makes me so happy. It makes me so proud. You can see that that guy has been going everywhere with his money. And I believe he deserves it. Do you know the funny thing? The funny thing is that they are going to call Aruno Kodri of Nigeria. Mm. But what is Nigeria doing to Aruno Kodri? It is high time Nigeria has to do more for that guy. That guy is very, very <laughs> talented. Mm. He's a fighter. He wants to be up there. He just needs little help from Nigeria. They should please do something to that guy, you know. He is doing what he's supposed to do. Nigeria, please, whoever is listening to me right now, even if it's the corporate body or whosoever that can fund Aruna or table tennis in Nigeria, please, we need you. I am so very, very happy because all his efforts is not in vain. Right. And against all hold is the Nigeria that trophy. So for me, I am so very, 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 even, even though I'm here this morning, I'm so very, very happy that at least we are home with the top 16 cup and he is going to represent Africa. That's right. At the World Cup. So I'm so happy about it. I know. I, I know. Thank you for putting it. I on. know. I know. That's <laughs> just, just how to calm you down. Thank you so much. Hello, Fuke Oshanaiki, for speaking to us. It's always a pleasure to have you join us. Thank you. All right. Thank bye. You. Thanks. <laughs>